G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Thanks for joining me. I am going to have another go at the cloud effect in the resin. The um, one that Miriam's Nature has inspired Daniel Cooper to do. And I did one the other day, well it was yesterday actually, and looking back at it, I don't think I had quite enough white. I'm not sure, but I want to go again. I'm going to put a bit more white in to make it kind of fluffier. When I did this one, um, this one I called seagrass, so you can check that video out. When I did that one, I had uh, white pigment paste in it, and it was a lot uh, more opaque, and it's done a more 3D effect. This one's a little bit, these ones are a bit more flat. So I'm going to go again, and I'm going to use more white. I'm not going to put any... Um, pigment paste in. I'm just going to do the white ink, but uh, we'll see. This was the pinata ink. It doesn't seem to dissolve as nicely, like there's little bits of it still in there. I'm just going to move that out of the way. I've got my resin. I've actually put it in some warm water because it's pretty cold this morning. When I drop my ink in, it just kind of sits there. It doesn't spread and I thought, well, maybe my resin's a bit cold. I'm using this resin here. I've got on um, Amazon put that out of the way I'm using with with these ones I did the purple the red and the yellow um, and then this one I did the blues and the greens but I'm going to put them two together today so I'm going to have the purple the pink the yellow and some blue so hopefully we get some blue and some green in those as well and um, I'm just going to do these round ones so that they can fit into my round bezels. Not sure how much resin I need for those eight because I don't need as much as I would normally have because you fill it up with a lot of white. Now there's two whites that you can get from Let's Resin and it came in this kit. There's this one here that says sinker and underneath it says normal. And then this one says sinker white which is very confusing because that one says sinker as well. But anyway, if you have a look at the bottom, it says normal and this one says deeper. Go with the one that says deeper or C. C deeper. Okay, that's the one you want. It's heavier. So we'll use that. We'll put the um, the other one away. I know it's not very clear because one's sinker and then one's deeper. So never mind. So I'm using these. Uh, someone is sending me some... Um, C Deeper. Jill Adair is sending me. Hi Jill again. <laughs> She's sending me some C Deeper white in the big bottles because this is not going to last very long in a kit. They should give you more of these, shouldn't they? So there's the Let's Resin I'm using. And she's also sending me, she's so sweet, she's sending me um, the highly pigmented resins as well. Don't know how different they are to these ones, but we'll see. Looking forward to receiving those. She messaged me yesterday and said, they're in Australia, so yay, so exciting. Right, let's get to the resin. Um, there's my stirring stick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out. Some, I should put a plastic over my scale, shouldn't I? Then it doesn't get all grotty. All right, I'm going to measure out, put my other glove on, uh, 15 grams of resin, which is what I did the other day. I'll just get that out of the water bath and <clears throat> dry the bottom. Have to have a dry bottom. All right, oh, that's feeling thinner already. So let's pour in there 15 grams, 10, 12, looking at it upside down, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that's going to be for the white. Okay, we'll move that out of the way. That will be for the white. I'm going to leave that in there so it stays as warm as possible. Actually, I'll put you back in there back in there there we go now in here now yesterday when I did this I did 45 grams of white I wonder what this weighs actually let me just weigh this on its own with the cup 19 all right can you remember that 19 and let's see give this a shake I'm gonna put in I'm gonna go for like 60 drops okay bear with me here we go one two three four five six seven 
8, whoops, that was a squeeze, it's probably 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. <laughs> oh, here we go, another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> I think that's right. Okay, there's not much left in my little bottle. Okay, uh, now I need a stick. I don't know if it's actually going to weigh any different, but I wanted to see just if it weighs any different now that it's got 60 drops in it, real roughly. No, still 19. Okay, negligible on my scale. Obviously less than a gram. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes. Now, I thought I'd put it into a little paper cup this time because yesterday I did it in the measuring cup and I put it into my piping bag uh, and I I don't know I just feel as if maybe my little trace or ribbon that I was doing of white wasn't like thick enough I don't actually know like I've seen Miriam put the white in her resin and I've seen Daniel put the white in their resin but no one has said how much resin they put in they've just gone oh leftover resin well that's not really that helpful guys so that's why I'm weighing it so that I can see how much resin I need per white so yesterday was 45 grams <clears throat> today is a 60 and it seems to be more opaque like when I when I have it like that I can't see the stick but when I start tilting it I can see this this the stick as it gets thinner so let's leave it like that hey so that's 60 drops of the <clears throat> sea deeper to 15 grams of resin right let's get the resin out dry its bottom again don't want to be dripping anywhere so sitting in the warm water makes it thinner which again lets the um the bubbles come out which is great bubbles will come out easier now I'm only gonna probably I'll start with just half full it's a bit hard to know what's half full because it's a, a domed pendant I've probably got way too much resin here might have to do something else so I've only got the bezels for the the rounds I did order bezels for my ovals <clears throat> like it was months ago through Amazon and they haven't arrived I guess they're not coming lost in the mail somewhere so it's okay to dome these like if you fill them a little bit too much like when you're finished with your your inks and your white and that if it's a little bit too full that's fine you can dome them I'm not exactly sure how much to use here we go look I've still got some left what will I do with the rest of it I'm just going to set it back in the warm water for now because I want to get a wriggle on with these. Uh, and if I need to, if I've got time afterwards, I can do something else with it. Just not sure how much to put in. I don't want to leave myself too short, but then I don't want to overfill them either. I'll put a little bit more in. I probably shouldn't be. Okay, there we go. Still not up to the top, obviously, but. All right, so here we go, the fun part. I've got more white. Hopefully it's okay. So I'm gonna, it's more opaque this time and I'm gonna put more white on. Now let's I'll give these a bit of a shake. I'll take the lid off. So that's the purple. That's the blue. I've got the red and the yellow all right now i want to keep the try and keep the blue and the yellow away from each other now let's see if i'm actually going to get these to spread a bit look it's spreading more oh it obviously makes a difference i put two drops in 
of each colour. Yeah, it's um, see, last night they weren't spreading really. I obviously need to have, let's do three drops of each. Three. Oh my gosh, you guys, they're too full now. Oh, all right, I'm going to have to take some out of the others. That's not leaving me enough room for the, um, for the white. Take a little bit out. Because they're so small, you don't realise that just a few drops of ink is going to make that much difference, but... It obviously does. Okay, sit that there. And we've made a mess. I don't like making a mess. All right, so I'm going to put some in the rest. I actually, I'll just to do it go faster. I'll just do the purple first. So three, one, two, three. Oops, come out. It must get air in it and then it kind of sprays like bubbles. It's probably because I've shaken it. Maybe you shouldn't shake it because it gets kind of bubbly or frothy in there and then it comes out weird. So that's three drops of the purple. Purple seems to have spread more for some reason. Three of the blue. See the blue, blue's not spreading nearly as far. Now I'm going to put the pink or red here next to the blue, just so that it's not touching the yellow. I like the way the yellow and the the pinky red make like a this pretty orangey colour. It's really nice. So I always do those together. I think they look really pretty. These bottles are quite hard like that. It's a hard plastic. They're not easy to squeeze. I'm squeezing pretty hard and not getting much at all. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now let's go back up and fill in some areas that don't have any ink on the sides there. I'm going to put lots of ink in. I want it nice and bright. putting another three drops of each colour in. I don't know if that's too much, but that's what I'm doing. Maybe not extra three of the blue. I'm trying to get it to the sides. Another two of the blue. I'm trying to fill in my gaps here. And the purple. Yeah, the purple spreads really nicely. I don't know why the others don't. Another two of the purple. It seems to be covered enough. All right, let's go in with some more yellow. It's because it's pulling away from the sides there. All right, I think that's good. Did I do any more of the pink? I think I did. Oh, geez, I can't remember now. Just filling in the gaps. It wants to all pull off to the side for some reason. I'm probably putting in way too much ink. 
but I'm going to add a lot of white so I think it'll be all right okay so that's the color done nice and well covered all right here we go with the white actually let's get you out of the way so I don't knock you over let's go with the white And if I've got some white left, I may make up some more because I've still got some resin left. So no point wasting it, hey. Maybe I can try with less uh, colour. <laughs> I might have overdone it with the colour. I don't know. All right. Here we go. I'm just pinching that so that I can pour a nice thick amount over it. And we're pretty full. Pretty full black bull. Actually, I think those top ones are, oh no, they're, they're mounding. Okay, these are mounding now, so yeah, just the right amount actually. And hopefully I've got enough white. Should have just enough. Oh, I'm running low. The last one might not have any. Here we go. Tip you right up. Mm, he might not get any. Here we go. I'm just going to drip that in. It won't be ribboned in. It'll just be lobbed in. Because <laughs> I've run out. Okay, so 15 grams is just enough. Let's see how that goes, hey? There we go. Yay, just enough, just enough. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> now, um, I might actually use that, that resin that's left over. Why not? I'll just clean that with my tape. Because I have got some more left over. Clean that spoon off. Let's pour some in here. I might go and get my opaque resins actually and have a play with those because I haven't, oops, haven't done a lot with the opaques. Oh, look at you making a mess, woman. It takes a little while for the resin to run off to the side. So, you know, you can't pour too much in because it takes a while to spread and then you've overfilled it. So I should do half. Oh, look, it's got blue in it. Didn't clean them very well, did I? Oh, there's a little bit of dried resin in that one. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to go and grab my opaques. Gee, there's a lot of resin left. So this was... um. Oh, what did I do? 35 grams of A and 32 grams of B. So, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a lot. Didn't need all that. But look, you're getting two videos for the price of one. <laughs> Probably get that last one filled as well, hey? Because this, it's the resins. You know, it's expensive. Well, shipping's expensive. It comes from overseas, so I try not to try not to waste it. Like make up too much at a time. But I just wasn't sure how much I I needed. But um, I'll write it down that I don't need so much just to do those eight. Right. Let me just go and get my opaques. I've uh, got my opaques. I've decided just to go in the same same colours. So the yellow, raspberry, sapphire blue, purple. So they've already got the white in them. I have given them a shake up already. So let's get the lids off. You have to give these ones a good shake because the white is you know down the bottom, and uh, you need to give them a shake to mix the white in. 
we'll see how they go. All right, here. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if I can get that little bit of blue out. So my resin's probably thickening up now, hey? All right, here we go. Purple. Purple. I'll just do the same on all of them. Make it easy. Um, a blue. These ones are spreading more. I wonder why. And then the pink. Actually, I'll do three of you. Get you some good coverage. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the yellow. So with these, you don't need to add any extra white to them. That's it. So now I'm just going to go through. Oh, look. Yellow and purple together is not a good look. Add an extra little, little bit of color here and there just to fill in the gaps. A little bit more blue. Spreading really nicely, much nicer than the ones next door. I don't know why. A little bit of purple. Okay, how's that looking? A little bit more yellow because the yellow I find the yellow doesn't cover as well as the other colors okay I like lots of color so that's the yellow I'm just going to do a little bit more pink Just see what happens basically if I'm so I kind of do two layers, see how it goes. So it's basically got two layers of colour here, hey. We'll see how it goes. Alright, that will do. Oops. Okay. Um, now I did give them a quick little blast with the torch when I went to get my other inks. I'll just give them another quick little torch. She, oh my gosh! <laughs> Don't torch straight after the you've put your alcohol inks in. Look at they were bubbling up. Oh, I wonder what that's going to do. All right, I'll wait until the um, alcohol's evaporated before I go torching them. Okay, so these look really quite dark again, don't they? So anyway, um, I'll be back because it's a bit cool now. I'm going to probably wait an hour and a half to come back and do the swirl. So um, I'll see you then. Next step. So I checked this at the one hour mark and it seems to be ready. Let's pop my gloves back on. Um, I just do a little test with my toothpick or a pin or whatever it is you want to use. I'm just using a toothpick. I kind of just banged it like that on the bench so it took off that sharp point. And if you look carefully, hopefully you can see, if I lift that, get that little string, put it over the white there so you can see it, get that little string. So if you get that, then it's ready. All right, we'll start over here because these ones were in first. So what will we do now with these ones? I over over swirled, so let's just swirl once, shall we? 
and I'm just going to do that. There we go. This one's not. This one's not leaving a a trail like this one does. I wonder why. She might swirl these ones and then come back to these because these aren't. It's not leaving a trail. All right. Well, we'll swirl these because this one is for some reason. I'd say because <clears throat> the resin was sitting in warm water with these longer, so it's going to set up quicker. So I'll do these, and I'm going to come back in half an hour and do those because it's not ready. I'll just remember that that one's done. Can you guys remind me <laughs> that that one's done? Right, here we go. Um, what will we do? What will we do? go you can see how it's got that long string but yeah definitely those ones don't have it it's going to do a bit of a different design on on each one I like this one like you do that and then back through the center <laughs> I like that I'm just trying now start from these ones and go down because <clears throat> I like bringing the light to the dark or the dark to the light so let's try that from the top down like that it's amazing how these ones are ready and those ones aren't never mind so I can have a bit of a swirl. And then this one, swirl again. Catch that. Okay, well that's done. Now after you swirl, you do need to torch. Because the swirling has kind of incorporated some air in there. They don't all have bubbles, but some of them do. Look what I got. My husband got home from work this morning. He works away two weeks at a time. He got back this morning. He got me this cute little torch. Look at it. It's so cute. You can um, dial up the flame or dial down the flame. But I'll just have it on low for these guys. And look, you can refill it straight into the bottom. It says it's got Ned Kelly on it. I said, where'd you get that? That's perfect. So just from a local service station when he stopped overnight. So I said, get me some more. They're great. Love it. Because this one, this one's good too. But you have to fill this bit up and then put it back inside. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. But this one, you just have to fill straight into there. So brilliant. Love it. Please get me more, hun. All right, I'll be back in half an hour and we'll do those ones. All right, so it's been another half an hour or maybe a little bit more. Let's test a bit and see if we get the train this time. Mm, not really. I'm just going to go for it. I don't know why this one's so different. All right, so we've done that one. Let's do this one. Ziggy zaggy. Oh, now I'm getting a train. A train? A trail? Oh, I don't know. What's it called? It just looks very dark. <laughs> to me. Let's try this one because I see the lighter there. I'm going to see if I can drag the lighter down into the darker there. See how that goes. Same here, lightest to darkest. That looks so dark. All right, lightest to darkest here again. Just basically just 
wiggling it up and down and up and down. All right. Oops. Someone got something in it. Yep, it's got a hair or something in it. All right. <laughs> Done. Now, that was the first one we did. Be interesting to see if it makes any difference leaving it at that extra half an hour, hey? All right, let's give these a bit of a torch so I can see some bubbles there. Is that working? It turn up a flame a little bit. See that bubble there? It popped. So, so there are a few there. You just need to be careful. Don't torch your mould. All right. So that's done. That one looks so dark. Oops, there's some bubbles in that one. I better see if I can. Oh, knocking things over. Popping bubbles on these ones as well. All right. I'll have to come back and re torch these ones in a little while, but we'll see how they go. All right. Now I'm going to leave them overnight. It's such a pain, isn't it, having to wait overnight? But yeah, I'm going to have lots to demold in the morning, so that's going to be fun, 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 fun. All right, look forward to it. See you then. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the same day. It's night time. I probably should wait for tomorrow because they're probably still a bit bendy. But I can't wait. I want to see what they're doing. So let's get this out, hey? Hopefully they'll be all right out nicely I'll just have to be careful with them all right let's I'll just take one and we'll come over here all right how are we gonna do this oh it's very soft <gasps> okay one two three oh wow look at that it's better it's better than the first one oh wow that's really it's really pretty. Might have put a bit too much white in. There's a lot of white down here, isn't there? Hard to know. Like the top's really pretty. All right, let's look at the next one. I'm just going to put it down. Oh, I'll put it. I'll put it there. Let's get them out. I'll try and do them fast, hey? All right, here we go. Oh, that one's even better. My scratch on my finger there. <clears throat> Look at that. That's got a really pretty swirl in it, hasn't it? Look at the sides where there was no swirl. Oh, there's a hair. Whew, get away. See where the sides where there's no swirl? It's really puffy and cloud like, isn't it? So pretty! Okay, and again, <clears throat> try and go quick. Another one, just like the other one. So I see pink and purple. Don't really see much in the way of yellow though. I did have yellow in there, didn't I? I'm sure I did. Over you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can see a little bit of blue there. Lots of purple. Some white across the top. It's really pretty. I wonder what that'd look like if you didn't swirl them. You'd have more of a, <clears throat> a cloudy type of effect, wouldn't you? I like that one. So it's got these little cloudy effects on the sides there excuse the lights little dots of lights because it's dark you see so I've got all my studio lights on I'm a bit upset that I've lost all my yellow I don't know where it went I was hoping to get that sort of orangey look you know from the the pink and the yellow but it's not showing. I've lost, I've lost my yellow. I did put yellow in it, didn't I? <laughs> oh, all right. It's that one. 
I'll leave that one for last because that was the one where I swirled um, a little bit early, hey, and the rest of them I waited. Oh, look, there's some yellow. That's probably what I was thinking was the white. It's more of a more of a yellow. Why aren't you focusing? I don't know, guys. What do you think? Are they better than the last ones? Are they worse than the last ones? These were the... That was the previous one. It doesn't look as 3D to me. I think these ones... I think these look more sort of 3D with more white in them. What are you thinking? Although this one's got the yellow and that one's lost the yellow totally. All right, let's do this one. So this one was the one where I swirled um, 30, 40 minutes earlier with those guys. Ah, oh, okay. That makes a difference too doesn't it? That does make a difference. Um, let's get another one that's similar shaped. Look, the clouds on the one on the left seem to be more defined like separate and then this one they seem to be more kind of blurred into each other. It could just be a coincidence but that was the one that I swirled early. Hmm interesting. All right, I'm going to leave that one to the side so I remember what it was. Okay now let's get on to these ones. So these were the opaques. Okay we'll see what they've done. Move you out of the way for a sec. So soft still. Okay. All right. Are we ready? One, two, three. Oh, look, it's so pretty. Now that's your traditional little pea tree. Like your little feathering effect, isn't it? That's what we've all sort of been doing previously. And get these little, little featherings. That one's really pretty. I like that one too. I guess they're all going to be the same, aren't they? Let's get them out. I'll try and be quick. Another one. At least we can see the yellow. Although, again, it wasn't, it's not that dominant, isn't it? So I think next time put less of the darker colors in and more of the yellow. Maybe the yellow is, um, oh, I was going to say transparent, but no, it's an opaque, so it can't be. <laughs> but maybe it's just not as strong as the others. Oh, that one's pretty. It's just got a little baby swirl in it. Sorry about the lights. It's really hard to pick them up. <gasps> Look at that. It's a close up. That's a good shot there. So you can see the purple in the left, the blue on the right, and then the blending. Still, again, not very much in the way of yellow. I don't know where all my yellow's gone. Must remember to use more yellow, you guys. That one's gone, skis. No yellow in that one. Hardly anything. I really like these. What do you think? Do you like the little petri feathers? It's really easy, isn't it, with the opaques? You don't have to worry about dropping your white on and you get really pretty effects. Although I must say you have to have the right resin. If you haven't got the right resin, like if your resins are a thin resin, it just won't work. Because when I started doing this I was using just different resins that I had lying around the place. I don't like the swirl on that one. I don't know what I did there, but I don't like it. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just used like a resin that I, I had that I was using for, um, you know, coasters and things, but it, it didn't work. Oh, I like that one. <gasps> I like that one. And I did that swirl across and down to the point because I dragged the dark into the light there. 
from the purple down into that sort of pinky orangey color I guess that's what the yellow's done to change the the pink into like an orangish color a little tiny bit of pink on the side a little tiny bit of yellow on the side but basically I've lost it all all right one more I'm really happy with these though I'm glad I did them this morning last one there we go another one they're all very similar colors don't seem to be as bright I might um I might try like two layers and see if it's any different although it's very glary in here today when I take a photo in the morning I'll probably get a, a more true color okay so my favorite is this one and this one I like those two my favorites what do you think I won't try one of these without the swirl just to see what happens really pretty well, there you go you got a two for one in that hey let me know what you prefer and whether you prefer the original little pea trees or whether you like the clouds it's still not perfect my clouds obviously I'm, I'm, you know I need to practice a little bit more I think maybe I need I've put a bit too much white in because I've kind of lost the vibrancy of the color it's gone very very white very cloud like which is still pretty but just I thought I should have them a little bit more vibrant very interesting though the um the swirl at next bit, half an hour earlier hmm see I've learned something and you guys have learned something too all right thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed my video and um, I'll see you real soon for a next one definitely want to do the cloud again all right thanks for watching you guys bye for now